Greetings, I am Ben Thompson, and I'm with the Free Citizens of America, and today I'm going to talk about how the Torah and the Constitution are two laws meant to be together. Now, here's the difference between the Torah and the Constitution. The Constitution is a law regarding government, while the Torah is a law regarding society and, mor and morality. Nowhere in the Constitution does it talk about how a nation needs to act as a people. The Constitution is designed to limit government by telling it what it can and cannot do. The Torah doesn't really talk too much about government, except it says to establish a system of judges. But it is filled with a moral code that society is supposed to live by. Now this is why our country is being torn apart and our freedoms taken away. Because we have separated the Torah out of it and we are left with the Constitution but the ta Constitution cannot stand because if the people are morally corrupt this law is done away with because this law of the Constitution is meant for people who keep the Torah which are the, f the first five books in the Bible now, in the past, we had preachers teaching the Torah, Christian preachers, and the people were so focused on the Bible and on the Torah that they designed their society based off of it. We know this because when we look at our past, we see things from the Torah in there. Uh, cities were named from places in the Torah. People were named after people in the Torah. The Constitution itself is based off of things found in the Torah. Be due to the lack of available books, some families only owned the Bible as a, as a book and they used it as a teaching tool to preserve our language. The freedom that is talked about in the Constitution is because of the Torah. The Constitution limits what the government can do and puts very little uh, codes against the individual citizens, except in the case of treason. And also the Bill of Rights is designed for citizens, but to protect citizens directly from government. So because we are taking, we have ignored the Torah, passed over the Torah, destroyed it out of our land, our constitution is almost completely destroyed. If we are to restore the constitution, as to when the Founders created it, we must remember the Torah. And by remembering the Torah and keeping it, we will find that we will be able to defeat the, the global elites who have taken over our nation. And we will have a society of peace again. What is the true meaning of peace? We think that it means the lack of war, and though that is certainly part of it, that is not the original meaning of peace. It means soundness or completeness, and is a reference to the state of being when people follow the Torah. Jesus Christ himself, who I believe in, taught the Torah. But he brought the Torah, saying it's not only a physical code for your actions, is to help train your spirit to a higher level 
And for this reason, Jesus said, Not only shall you not murder, but you shall not even be angry. The Torah says, If you borrow one dollar, give one dollar back. Jesus says, It is good for if one for one to borrow and give back, but it's even better for to give to someone who cannot ever give back. So you can see Jesus taught the Torah, but he taught a higher law from the Torah, not invalidating what the Torah says, but giving us a higher interpretation of it. Early Christians understood this, and when they came over to this nation to establish colonies, they tried to create a society based off the Torah. Even though they were Christians, they tried to create a society based off the Torah because they believed in Jesus Christ and understood that Jesus Christ taught the Torah. Modern Christianity has distorted this view and that is one of the reasons why we have ignored the Torah. And so I invite every American, Jew, Christian, Muslim, and any other faith or non-faith to turn towards the Torah for our society's moral code. If we will do that, we will be able to protect the Constitution and to restore freedom and peace in this land. But until then, we are doomed to destruction. And then after that, we will recreate a society based off the Torah from the survivors of that destruction.